Hello YouTube Gamer Dad here. Uh, we are going to be finishing up um, the basics for our player class here. This is the third video in our player class and the third video in the tutorial series. Uh, in this video we're going to be uh, adding the the updating for for our ship so the basic controls and um, and um, creating bounds so that our, sh our ship doesn't go outside of the screen boundaries. And uh, the next video is going to be on um, drawing and, and loading our, our background, our star field background. So uh, with that, let's get going. Uh, let's hop into the player.cs, which we're here now. Um, we'll go down to our update function. Uh, in our update function here, uh, we will, uh, we're going to add, we're going to have to add a keyboard state so we can get the key state um, f uh, every frame updated. So uh, that will be a keyboard state. We'll just I'll call it uh, key state. That will equal keyboard dot get state. So basically, what this is going to do is it's going to read uh, the check for keyboard input uh, every frame. Um, after that, we'll set our ship controls up. Let's comment these right away. So we don't get sloppy. Getting keyboard state. And then our ship controls. Uh, it'll be a series of four if statements. Um, checking our keys. So um, the first one will be if uh, key state. That is key down. Uh, it'll be you can use the arrow keys. Um, me being a long time uh, PC gamer, I'm kind of used to the WASD keys for controls. So I'm going to use those. So it'll be keys that uh, W. So if we're pressing W, um, we're going to take the position Y of the ship. And that will equal position Y uh, minus the speed of the ship. So um, when we're pushing W, it's going to make the ship go up towards the top of the screen uh, at the speed we have set up here in our player constructor. And you can alter this too if you think the ship's moving too fast or too slow. Um, you know what? We can just copy this if statement. Do another one. We'll change it to keys A. So if it's key A, the position we're going to be changing the position X that will equal position x um, minus speed because we're going to be going uh, left with the key a so we're going to um, we're going to negate on the position x uh, uh, horizontally uh, at the speed i think you guys are kind of getting the gist here keys s uh, that will be position y equals position y plus speed because we're going to be going um, uh, down uh, on the screen, which would be um, going positive on the y-axis. And lastly, key D would be position x equals position dot x plus speed. Okay, and uh, we don't really need to comment these. I'll space them out a little bit. Um, if you want to comment each individual ones, uh, and if you're using the arrow keys, the the code for that is just keys dot up, you know, up, down, left, and right. If you're going to be using the arrow keys. So now we have uh, our keys set. So we should be able to, uh, as long as we let's save it off, check our game one .cs. Not sure if we uh, we did do the player update already in our update function in the game one .cs. So we save it. We can build this and run. And now we should be able to move our ship around with W, A, S, and D. And we can. And it's going to look a little laggy on the video probably because I'm uh, frapsing this. But on your screen it should be pretty smooth. And as you notice, if I go to the right, it's just going to go right off the screen. Uh, same with the left or the bottom and uh, the top. So we need to create uh, some restrictions so that it stops when it hits one of them walls. So back to our player.cs. Um, we'll comment this. Q 
keep a uh, player ship uh, in screen bounds. And uh, this will be another for if statements. Uh, if position dot x is less than or equal to zero, then position x will equal zero. Uh, so if the position x of the ship, so if the ship is all the way on the left side of the screen and it's hitting zero, um, it's just going to equal zero. It won't go anywhere past that. So it'll stop it at the left side of the screen. And as you know, sprites um, in X and A, uh, their coordinates are based from the top left corner of your sprite. So um, just keep that in mind when uh, drawing sprites and setting their positions. Uh, next statement will be if position.x is greater than or equal to 800, which is the uh, the width of our, my screen. If you set it to something, the screen width uh, in your game one.cs any any different than 800, uh, put that number here. And so it'll be 800 minus um, texture dot width. So we're taking since it's measuring from the top left corner of the sprite, uh, we need to negate the uh, width of the sprite so that it's not uh, stopping with the sprite off the screen. And then. Uh, so if that's the case, so if position x is greater than or equal to 800 minus the texture width, then position x will equal 800 minus texture dot width. Okay, we'll do our y-axis. If position dot y is less than or equal to zero, then position dot y equals zero. And if position dot y is greater than or equal to 950, which is what I have the height of my screen set at. If your height is different, put that number here. Minus texture dot height. Uh, then the position y will equal 950 minus the texture dot height. Um, and if this looks a little sloppy to you guys, um, it's just because there's only one here in the if statement, that's why I put it that way. But I'll bring it down just for, for looks here. Don't want to confuse anybody. And we'll put some spaces between. There we go. And you can comment these individually too if that helps you. You know, you could name this one uh, keep ship from going off left side of screen. Uh, this one would be keep ship from going off right side of screen. And then, you know, same with Y, keep it from going. Um, off the top, keep it from going off the bottom. But if we save this now, we build it and run. Okay, I'm going to just hold down the down key. Once it gets to the bottom, it stops. I'm still holding holding my um, S key, which it will bring my ship down. Uh, holding my A, it'll stop it um, at the left side. Um, holding W, it'll stop it at the top. And holding D, it stops it at the right. So. That's what we want. That's all I wanted to cover in this video to finish up the basics of our player class. We will be adding stuff to the player class later when we start implementing other things like uh, um, shooting bullets and um, collision and stuff like that. And there will be some more collision stuff I'll need to do uh, within the player class. But for now, um, we have our ship. It's moving around the screen. Um, next video, like I said, we'll be adding our background and we'll have the background kind of scroll um, scroll down so it looks like there's um, we're in you know a space field and the ship's flying through it. So uh, until then, if you like the video, uh, toss me a like. If you want to see the rest of the series, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, if, if you want me to if you want me to speed up or slow down the way I'm handling these tutorials, let me know. Like I said, it's your guys' input that will help me decide uh, the pace of these videos. Um, but until next time, guys, peace.